Okay, let's talk about how to divide positive and negative numbers. So for example, we want to find out why a problem like negative 25 divided by a positive 5 is equal to a negative 5. Why is this? Well, the answer is super easy to understand, okay? When it comes to math, there's a lot of, you know, pretty complicated abstract things you do learn in mathematics, but this stuff is super easy, okay? And I wanna tell you right now, when we're talking about positive and negative numbers, we're really, you have to really master uh, the four operations. So we're talking about adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. Of course, we're gonna be focusing uh, in on division of positive and negative uh, numbers, but the rule that um, we're gonna learn for division of, of uh, positive and negative numbers is the same as multiplying positive and negative numbers. So if you understand what I'm gonna be talking about in this video, then you also know how to multiply positive and negative numbers. Again, it is super easy, the, this rule I'm gonna show you, but it's also easy to mess up, okay? But uh, beyond uh, knowing how to divide positive and negative numbers, make sure you continue to practice these other operations. So addition and subtraction, totally different rule, and students tend to confuse these rules. But again, we're gonna go, uh, go ahead and just focus on dividing positive and negative numbers. We're gonna get into this in just one second, but first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I'm gonna leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video, but I've been teaching math for decades, okay? I know with absolute certainty that everyone and anyone could be successful in mathematics, but what you need is the right instruction. And uh, my instruction, I like to believe, is ultra clear and understandable. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or college level, I can definitely help you out in your respective math courses. If you happen to be preparing for a test that has a math section on it, I'm talking about things like the GED, SAT, ACT, or maybe like a teacher certification exam, I can help you prepare and pass those exams. If you homeschool, okay, I absolutely uh, got great middle school and high school math courses that you need to check out. I was recently voted number one in uh, those categories by a major homeschool publication. And if you need some math notes, I'm gonna leave links to my math notes in the description of this video. All right, so let's get into the division of positive and negative numbers again. Uh, this is going to be easy, okay? All right, so here is the rule. If uh, the signs are the same, the answer is positive, okay? And if the signs are different, the answer is negative, all right? Again, easy, but let me clarify exactly what I'm talking about with this rule. All right, so let's take a look at this problem. I have negative 20 divided by negative 2, right? So what are the signs? Always focus in on the signs here, right? So this is a negative and this is a negative. Are the signs the same or different? Well, they are the same, right? That's two negative. So same sign, so the answer is positive. So 20 divided by two is 10. And of course, uh, my uh, the sign of my answer is gonna be positive, positive 10. And you don't need to write uh, like a positive 10 like this. If you just write like 10, that implies positive 10. And that's it. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at uh, positive 20 divided by a negative two. So what's the signs here? Well, this is a positive, this is a negative. So we have different signs, so our final answer is gonna be negative. So 20 divided by two is 10, but the sign of my answer is gonna be negative, okay? So that is it, okay? And again, remember, this rule is the same rule for multiplication. So multiplication and division have the same rule, and that's pretty exciting because the four primary uh, operations you need to learn with positive and negative numbers is what? Well, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And if you understand how to uh, divide, okay, you understand how to multiply, same rule. And uh, these rules are different, but uh, it's kind of crazy. If you understand how to add, then you're going to be able to do subtraction problems with positive and negative numbers. So make sure you follow uh, through and uh, master these other operations as well. I got tons of videos on this on my channel. Uh, and of course I teach this thoroughly in any one of my algebra courses, but let's go ahead and practice uh, what we learned uh, in these little practice uh, problems right here, okay? So we have uh, our first problem, negative eight uh, divided by negative four. We'll put our answers right here. Yeah, so you can either pause the video, do these problems, or we can do these together. Either way, whatever works for you, let's get right to it. So the first problem is 
negative 8 divided by a positive 4. All right, so let's first uh, address the question, uh, what is the sign of our final answer? Well, this is a negative, this is a positive, different signs. Remember, if the signs are different, the final answer is going to be negative. So now we just have to do the actual math. So 8 divided by 4 is 2, but we have a negative 2 as our final answer. Okay, so pretty easy stuff. If you got that right, excellent. Let's keep moving forward. We have negative 9 divided by negative 3. Are the signs the same or different? Well, they are the same, a negative and a negative. So our final answer is going to be positive. So 9 divided by 3 is just 3. And we, again, we don't have to write a positive 3. Just 3 by itself means positive 3. Okay, as I promised you, this is going to be easy stuff. Let's take a look at this problem. Okay, so we did number two, we're on number three. So this problem here, I have a negative of negative five. So you're gonna see this when you're dealing with um, uh, positive and negative numbers. What does this mean? Well, this means the opposite of a negative five. Just remember a negative uh, times a negative like so, uh, or the opposite of a negative five means positive five. So this problem here really means five divided by one, positive five divided by a positive one. So we have a positive divided by positive, so our final answer is just positive, positive 5. Okay, so let's move on to our last problem. Here I have negative 16 divided by a positive 4. Are the signs the same or different? Well, clearly this is negative, this is positive, so different signs mean the final answer uh, is going to be negative. So just do the division now. 16 divided by 4 is 4, so our final answer is negative 4. Okay. All right. So if you got all these right, then I must go ahead and give you a nice, lovely, happy face with an A plus 100%. And I remember back in like the first and second grade way back in, I don't know, I think that was 1975 for me, but we used to get these little golden stars. I tell you, it was such a great feeling and uh, going to uh, elementary school back in those days in Southern California, Southern California was pretty crazy. Because I do remember my first grade math or first grade teacher, not my math teacher, smoking a cigarette outside the classroom. Uh, they were probably saying to themselves, these little kids are stressing me out. I need to take a smoke break and then get back in that classroom. But it was a wild time to go to school back in those days. But anyways, here's a few stars so you can feel extra special because now... You can go back and tell all your friends and your parents, I know how to divide positive and negative numbers, okay? So again, you know, if you are in any sort of middle school, high school, college math course, you're going to have to master this. And it's easy, but it's also easy to make mistakes. So follow through and practice this stuff um, because, again, you know, uh, you will be challenged with uh, more complicated things in mathematics. So, you know, take advantage of the easy stuff when it comes uh, comes your way, and this is pretty easy. All right, so if this video helped you out in some small way, go ahead and consider uh, consider helping me out in a huge way by smashing that like button and maybe even subscribing to my YouTube channel. I've been on, I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus math videos from uh, basic math to advanced math, like calculus and everything in between. So if you like my teaching style, please take advantage of all my videos, but my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematic adventures. Uh, thank you for your time, and have a great day.